Hey, what's up guys? Got a new quick video. It's all about the thermal climb. You might want to pay attention to this one. This, one, this one's kind of neat. You know, I don't really know how everyone else does YouTube. Um, I got a kind of a kind of an idea, but I, I just do just do what I do, right? I don't even know. I just go out there and I, I bring all this up because of this. I go out there and I, I mostly, for the most part, don't have any plans, right? Uh, a lot of my videos, what happens is, is I just record everything out there. And then somewhere throughout the day, like I see something, like something that's like, man, like that's pretty cool. Well, this is one of those deals. I was going out there. I, I, I really went out there to the lake to go try out some new prototype stuff. That's really what I went out there for. And it was all shallow stuff. And, and the shallow bite was, you know, I caught some fish and it was okay, whatever. But at the very end of the day, I went out deep just for a little bit. And I say deep. It's not like crazy deep, you know, it was just normal offshore stuff. And I get out there and I kind of, I kind of just, the first spot I, I kind of pull up to, I kind of found some and, but they were real weird. They were real weird acting. And, and it's kind of hard to explain. It was like, it was almost like they were schooling fish in the sense of like, I had to get them fired up. You know, I bring all this up because there was a thermal climb down there. And so I, I say that they were kind of like schooling fish because they were suspended. And I really didn't graph them or anything. I just kind of pulled up on an area and, and started fishing around. And, and I saw a couple busts, not where I was catching them, but I saw a couple busts. They were small ones. And then I started catching them, cranking, but deep cranking, you know? But oh, I just saw one bust. I told you, I knew it. I knew it. And what do I got? I mean, what do I got? That thing might be big. Oh, don't lose it. I don't know. I ain't never seen one try to take off like that before. It ain't that big. Got on that crankbait though. Oh, got on that crankbait though. I knew it. I might have had two on. Oh, there was another one with it. I guarantee that's what happened. I had two on. That made sense right there. I saw another one with it. Guaranteed that's when it took off like that. When it took off like that, guaranteed I had two on. It took off hard, man, and then finally just stopped. I guarantee that's what went on. But they weren't on bottom and they weren't really where they normally are. So I found the whole thing interesting, right? And when I kind of drove over them, I saw what was going on. And that's kind of what I'm going to explain about. It's kind of like this thermocline deal. Now, earlier in the year, I wanted to do a thermocline video, right? Because it was like an amazing looking thermocline um, on our lakes. And I'll kind of go into, I, listen, I'm not going to sit there and go in to tell you exactly how all the thermoclines work. There's the, there's the traditional this time of the year in the summertime, um, like late in the summer, it starts to get one. And like later on, there's a turnover and thermocline has a little bit to do with that. And it's about where the oxygen level is. I, I get all this stuff, but there's other ways we get thermoclines too. And the biggest ones I've ever seen, the, the ones that are like really show up on your depth finder are ones from around here is when it like floods. And so we had a lot of floods and I say floods, like our lakes were like, extremely record highs this year in like the summertime like early summer like from may to june and when i started getting back out on the lake when the lakes were kind of high kind of come down i was just kind of idling around out there i was going to go fish shallow because the lakes were high but the thermal climb on the lakes were it was like it on your depth finder you it looked like you could like walk across this thermal climb. it was so distinguishable on your depth finder it was like a, a perfect line but the line underneath it was so dense um, it was just crazy. Like, it almost looked like a false bottom. And I wanted to go do something, but I, you know me, guys, I always want to catch fish while we do it. You know, I, I don't, I don't really want to just show you the thermocline and talk about it and not catch fish. Um, cause listen, I've said this a thousand times, man. Like I could go do all this and explain all this. And then I go out there and can't catch anything. Like to me, that's just, it's really fake. Like it's not like, it's just someone talking about something that sounds really good, but it actually doesn't work, right? So uh, 
I was catching some fish on that thermal climb, but there really wasn't a lot of fish out there. And like I said, it was like May to June. A lot of fish were up shallow. And um, I just, I didn't, I wanted to go kind of fish shallow and not, not do it. Although it looked really cool, right? And that's, that's the kind of deal. So when I went back out there, this was kind of a, a, a more true thermal climb, right? This is more that's not as distinct, but that's usually what you're going to get. Something that's kind of, you have to look for it a little bit more than normal. And so I caught some fish. I'll show you that. I'll kind of show you how the bait were set up, how the fish were set up, uh, why they were suspended and not suspended like crazy off the bottom, but they were suspended right like at the thermal climb and up. And it was pretty cool. Like maybe a couple fish down there in the thermal climb, but like almost none on the bottom where the thermal climb was. Now you can still find fish on the bottom, but they would still be above the thermal climb. Like I'll kind of explain all that. So this is a pretty cool video, I think. This is something different, interesting. Um, I don't know, let's dive on in. All right, so as you can see, you can kind of see a halfway thermal climb right there. You see it, how it's a little bit fuzzier right there. And if you notice, all them fish are either right at that thermal climb or above it. So there goes a wad of them right there. Look at them. But, but you notice that thermal climb. That's what I really want to show y'all, is this thermal climb right there. You notice how them fish set. Imagine, a, draw an imaginary line like, and put a ruler up here. Now if y'all look real close, you can see that thermal climb. Okay, see that dip? There's that thermal climb right there. Okay, and look, it even goes over here, okay, where it dips. Now watch this. If I, if I drew imaginary, put that ruler right where them, that thermal climb is, right? And you just see that? And if you look over here, see that I'm still in line, and the fish are above that thermal climb. So watch, I'm gonna get out of here in 20. So I'm out here in 20 now. And watch, you'll be able to start seeing that thermal climb again. It's a small little thermal climb, but it's about right there. Same deal, around 15, 16 foot. But if you notice, what do you see? Notice how there's no fish below that line? See, they're still staying around that 15 foot. 15, 16, 17 foot. It, it, if you see over here, this is that 15 foot line. And it's about 17, 18 foot, but look, fish again suspended, right? They're all between that 20 and 15, but they're not, none of them are on bottom really. There were a couple of them on bottom here, but I wasn't always catching them right there. I was catching a lot of them in these stumps. You see, they'll be suspended in them. See that big fish? Not down on the bottom. They're all suspended. They want to get, they want to get there, but look at the bait fish. I mean, it's, it's the heat of the summer and they're still, they're still in like eight, nine, 10 foot of water, 12 foot of water at the most. See, there's a, there's a couple small ones, but they're still, a, you know, some of the bigger ones are still higher up. And that's about that, that right there, that's about the, the key depth right now, for whatever reason. See, you can always find them shallower than that, but then if you go a little too shallow, you almost won't see anything. See how I got up to 12 foot? And there'll be a couple, but as soon as I start going back down in that 15, now I don't know, I have an idle around here. I'm just assuming, look, you'll start seeing. Look at that, see? See them suspended? That's the ones I was catching earlier. See them ones? Look at them all. Those are those ones all suspended about 12 foot down. And that's why, look at all that bait. All that bait is sitting right there at like 12 to 10 foot of water, 15 foot of water. Pretty cool deal right there. Um, that's just, that's just kind of cranking. Like I'll, I'll kind of talk about, a lot of people want to know about cranking. But you've really asked me to do a lot of cranking videos and I'll be honest with you, cranking videos are some of the hardest ones. Uh, where we live, it's not always just easy. Sorry, I'm still looking at my graph. I wanted to like 
I wanted to show y'all things like this. You know, like see how they're all, look, like look at all these fish suspended. I'm not saying they're all bass, but it doesn't really matter. That's, that's why I'm not seeing a ton on bottom. You'll see it, and even these, like the shadows are all, see how it's 20 foot, but none of them are in 20. They all want to be in that 17 to 15. Even that three to four foot off the bottom, it's, it's why they won't hit a worm that well. Like I threw a worm in there a bunch and I can't really get them to bite a worm. I know they're eating shad, but usually that doesn't matter. So I'm trying to, I, I'm, I'm trying to show y'all that like, it's not always just about finding them, right? I mean, a two to three foot difference off the bottom can mean everything. And so, like I said, uh, if I went in a different part of the lake, I bet you that thermal climb, especially if I go towards the south end, will start getting deeper. And that's probably where I'll, I'll throw like a 10XD, because that 6XD gets down to them. I mean, it gets down to them pretty, pretty easy. But I mean, if they got down like two more foot, uh, I'd really have to make some like bomb cast, and my base just not going to be down there in them as much. So now, now that I kind of got it figured out. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go see. Let's let's stop on one or two more spots. See if I can see if I can duplicate this and see if they look the same. Let's go. So I went way on down the lake. Um, when I got down there, I, I kind of I didn't really talk about it that much. I, I showed that the if you notice the thermal climbs a lot deeper. They weren't in that 12. They were further down to 15, 16, 17. Uh, some of them in 18. I didn't show that that much. I was really just trying to find more of it like that. And uh, like I said, going down south, you can kind of get into the that, that deeper thermocline as opposed to, you know, depending on where you're at on the lake. So that's that. And uh, let's see what happens, guys. All right, same deal. Find a brush pile and then look at them. But look at that depth. Look at them. I'm about to, <laughs> we're about to catch something, right? I'm going to mark that brush pile. Mark them fish too. I had a feeling, man. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy how, like I said, it's hard to see. You got to look real close. Hopefully, that you can see that line. That line. See, see them two fish in that brush pile. They're above that line. That line runs like this. Hits that right there and then keeps going. That line's right here. We're in we're in 27, but that line's still the same depth. And look, you don't hardly see anything underneath it. You see how everything's above it. Everything's above it, even the bait. Let's go check out this, see what, see what happens here. I saw one little shad jump out there. It's not really where I marked them, but like I said, I mean, they kind of get, they'll kind of get everywhere. I was just going to start cranking around. Oh man. Oh man. God, they're hitting so hard. Some of them. How big is that one? Oh, big one. Big one. Oh yeah. That's why I'm telling y'all I had one on like this earlier. That other one even fought harder than this one. I mean big and look at that stud. That stud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Push that button, let him go a little bit. Lassoed or something. Come here. Come here. Now, you know what? You got it. You got your stuff all up in the way. Look at that. Look at that big one. Where can I put my hand? Oh yeah. Now my friends, that's why you crank. That's why you crank in the middle the dog days of summer right there if y'all know what i'm talking about some other video that thing goes about six get her back in 
Yep. Let's go get another one. All right, I hope you liked the thermal climb video. Uh, I hope it explains a little bit about it. If nothing else, it's this isn't like a technical video on on the thermal climb. It's more of just like, you don't have to be a, a scientist and know everything. You just have to study it enough to like acknowledge the fact that it's there and then go from there. Like pretty simple guys. And, and listen, we're gonna get into a little bit about the whole graph thing, okay? I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I, I just think dialing in these graphs might be a little overrated. I'm just telling y'all. In the fact of, there's some tricks to these graphs um, on on pictures and things that people show that I don't really think are real. Like they're real, they're just not like reality. Okay, and y'all know me, man. I, I just like I'm saying that's it's not all reality of what they're showing you, and I'll explain that. We'll show reality versus hey, I'm gonna show my graphs and they look really really real. You know what I'm saying? Like like look at this picture. It's not always what you think, guys. Just saying. Anyways, see y'all.